Hey guys, John here with Pro Edge Paintball. I am back doing a review on the Hydra knee pads. So this is the second edition of the Hydra knee pad. The first edition was that blue model that you may have seen posted online or at your local field. This is their new edition. I believe they call their black edition. This one has been revamped. They've taken all the criticism and all the feedback from the local players and put it into this knee pad. So this is a size extra large. I was just wearing them around the front of the store to make sure I knew uh, what I wanted to talk about and whatnot. And these are extremely comfortable. I've played in the older ones and everybody had the same complaint. It kind of pinched you in the back. So they've taken down the amount of material on the back of the knee pad. Uh, and so that way when you're squatting or whatnot, it's not pinching the back of your leg. If you watch their promo video online, they actually like slide on rock with these to show the durability. They take like a razor blade to it. They take all kinds of crazy stuff just to prove that they've really put a lot of time and effort into the front of this knee pad to really make it more durable and hold up. The only thing that I personally am not a big fan of, and this is because I'm getting a little older and I like to protect my knees, is I like a knee pad that has a little more on the side. Uh, so that way if I fall over or like I'm crawling and I hit my knee, the side of my knee on something, it protects it. Um, but from, that's just my personal preference. For most players out there, they're only worried about the front strip, and this is extremely nice. It's gonna be thick enough to protect you, even if you're playing in the woods. Um, what I love about them is how lightweight it is. So if you're running through the woods or you play, you play competition like NXLs uh, or local speedball type tournaments, they're gonna be lightweight. Uh, they seem to breathe pretty well, so it's not like a really bad material that's not gonna breathe at all. And with the lightweight, you're, you don't feel like you're wearing knee pads. So, you can wear like the jogger style pants, you can wear the GI Sports race pants that are really thin as well and add on a light pair of knee pads and you're not really gonna be bogged down. One of my biggest complaints about heavier type equipment or gear is, um, or like clothing, is when they get wet. Uh, basically, it just weighs you down and so not only are you cold and wet usually, uh, but you're trying to, uh, you're, you're gonna stay wet all day long, but now it adds weight to you as well. So with this lightweight knee pad, no matter if it gets wet or not, it's still gonna stay pretty light compared to some of the other knee pads. If you guys wanna stop by and try on the Hydra knee pads, we do have them in stock at our store in Houston, or you can shop our website. Uh, there is a nice size chart on there, so make sure you take, take some extra time, measure your leg, that way you can get the accurate size. I'm about six foot, about 200 pounds, uh, and this is a size extra large. These are the ones that I would wear. I can technically wear a large, uh, but they are a little bit tighter on me, but technically I am pretty much between sizes and both of them are extremely comfortable. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. If you like what we're doing with some of our review videos, uh, take a second to like this video. If you like tech videos and review videos, we're trying to do those every week. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Other than that, I think we pretty much covered everything. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us through social media. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.